Hello everyone, this is Dr. Siresha working as Associate Professor in Institute of Aeronautical Engineering College. Today we are going to see the evaluation of a postfix expression. In my previous video, I have posted how to convert a given infix expression to postfix expression with the help of a stack. That is the basic functionality of a stack to convert or to evaluate a given expression which undergoes two stages. The first stage is converting an infix to postfix which is an intermediate state and then evaluating the postfix expression. Let's uh, brush up your uh, point or your minds with uh, what an infix, prefix and postfix expression is first of all. Infix expression is an expression which humans understand easily that is uh, placing an operator between the operands say a plus b right here a and b are the operands and plus is an operator coming to prefix expression placing the operator in front of uh, two operands is nothing but prefix operation right coming to postfix placing the operator in the last is nothing but postfix expression our point of concentration here is a postfix expression to understand how to convert basically an infix to postfix with the help of uh, a stack please follow my previous video right so with that i'm going to catch up for evaluating a postfix expression in general these are the few examples of uh, infix to prefix and postfix expression conversions right so with this note let's start how to evaluate a postfix expression generally a postfix expression it will be free from left and a right parenthesis it will have only two types of tokens either a token can be an operator or an operator so we have just two cases if it is an operand just push it to the stack. If they, you are, if you encounter an operator, pop top two elements from the stack, evaluate the expression and push the result back into the stack. It's a very simple one, guys. We have just two cases. If you encounter an operand, push it into the stack. If you encounter an operator, pop top two elements from the stack, evaluate them push the result back into the stack, right? This is a simple uh, algorithm for evaluation of postfix expression. Let me explain you the same with an example. So this is a postfix expression which I have taken. Have a look at this one. You can see that it is having, a, the whole string is having just two types of tokens. Either it is a numerical value or it is an operator, right? So let's start the process it will be majorly having five columns where the first column covers the symbol or the token which you are going to consider next stack the next operand one and operand two for the evaluation and the result which you are going to get in the final fifth column right let's start the process the first symbol is uh, five which is an operand as I said, if it is an operand, send it to the stack, push it into the stack. I have pushed it. Next is again an operand, push it into the stack. Next one is also an operand to push it into the stack. Now again, the game starts, guys. I am going to encounter an operator, which is multiplication. Once I encounter an operator, I have to pop them, perform the operation, push the result half that is the primary point so the element on top of this tag is two which is sent to which is sent to operand two have a keen look guys and once i pop two the next top element will be three which will be sent to operand one do not forget the order the first top element will 
will become second operand and the next top will become the first top okay so basing on this one have to evaluate an operation operand 1 operator and operand 2 so 3 multiplied by 2 so the result is 6 which is pushed into the stack have a look we have pushed it into the stack right so this is the process which i'm going to follow very simple steps next is addition as addition is my operator the top element 6 will be sent as second operand second or the element below the top or the fresh top the new top will be sent as the first operand so 5 plus 6 the result is 11 which will be sent to or pushed into this stack. So the next token is 4. So 4 is an operand. Push it into this stack. So next is an operator 5. When an operator encounters pop top two elements. So I have popped. So the top element is 4 which is operand 2. The next element is 11 which is operand 1. Perform the operation which is 11 minus 4. The result is 7. Push the result into the stack. Right? Popping two elements, performing the operation and pushing the result into the stack. Now on top of the stack we have 7. So the next element is 5 which is an operand. So and the next element is operator. So again, pop the elements. 5 becomes the top element. So it will be operand 2. And its next element will be operand 1. So 7 plus 5. The result is 12 which is pushed into the stack. Right. So on top of the stack you have only one element which is 12. Right. So what next? Do you have any token in your string? No, even on top of the stack, you have only single element, which is 12. It is nothing but the result. So it is the result of the given, or you can say that it is the output of the evaluated postfix expression. Okay, so coming to infix to postfix expression, we had four different cases because an infix expression also contains left parenthesis as well as right parenthesis. But in case of in case of uh, a postfix expression, we have only two types of uh, tokens. A token can be either left parenthesis or sorry, it can be either an operand or an operator. So accordingly, act and perform the same. You can see that stack played a crucial role in the conversion or evaluation. So let's see a Python code for the same to evaluate a given postfix expression. Let's start. So here we are at uh, the shell. Here I'm going to open a new script to perform the same. That is to evaluate a postfix expression. So let's uh, write the agenda here. So evaluate postfix expression so that anyone any novice who you who opens this one will be able to understand why this program is written and what it does right so let's start so basically i'll start with always i'll start with my driver code and with the function call within it i'm going to write a function for the same Right. So let me write the driver code. Driver code is the one which drives, right? From where we start the driving. Right. Let me take an expression. So let me take a random expression 231 multiplied by plus 9 minus. So this is a simple expression which I have taken. You can see that I have four operands and three operators to concatenate them. I feel that it is a balanced one. With this one, I'm going to start. So let me create an object. So I'm going to leverage the 
object oriented concepts of python using objects i can easily implement this uh, task so i'm going to use classes for it let me name that class as evaluate okay so to that to create an object the only thing i feel which is required is the length of the expression right so object is create now let me call a function a method uh, within the class to perform the same so obj with the help of an object i'm going to call it right so eval post fix to that function i'm going to pass i'm going to pass the red expression as a parameter to that so i am going to call this function let me place this function call in a printf statement within a simple printf statement so that i print it at once rather than calling twice right so value of uh, the first parameter is the second parameter i'm going to use format to show that expression will be overwritten for uh, the first as the first take as the first argument so the value of the expression will be retrieved followed by is the function call right the result okay so this is how i'm going to do this right so the format is having two parameters the first argument is uh, uh, the first argument zeroth argument will be replaced by the expression whereas the second is a function call evaluate the post fix expression right so let me go and create a class for the same right let's create a class class evaluate okay within that i'm going to write the constructor first self and let the length of my expression be capacity so as i'm dealing with stacks i need the top variable which is initialized to minus 1 initially saying that stack is empty and it is the one which is going to help me out to always monitor the peak element in the stack right next step capacity is equal to so the next is the next initialization capacity which will hold the length of the expression right then an array i'm going to take which is going to act as a stack for me okay then so these are the basic three parameters i'm going to use then def i need few functions to help me out one of the most prominent function is is empty which is going to help me to check whether the stack is empty or not right a simple function return function i'm going to write so return true i'm going to return true if it is empty have to know if it is empty or not right that is the main point if top is still pointing to minus 1 then that itself tells you that the stack is empty so self dot top is equal to minus 1 if self if the top is pointing is still having the value minus 1 then i can say that the stack is empty else or it is not empty right this is a simple is empty function which i am going to use to check whether my stack is empty or full right the next is peak function to know what is the element which is on top of the stack right so peak function it will be used for the same right so return minus 1 
So as array is going to act as my stack, I'm going to return the negative index that is one as the top of my stack. Very simple guys. Python gives you a advantage of having negative indexing. We all know that list index, the index values starts from zero till max size minus one, where max size is the number of elements in the list, right? So the index values run from zero to max size minus one, right? So rather than going for that, rather than even knowing the number of elements in the list, you can directly fetch the last element in the list with the help of negative indexing. That is, so the element which holds the index value as max, my, max size minus one also holds the index value minus one. So in the reverse order, from left to right, you will be numbering them. From right to left also, you can number them as minus one, minus two, and so on. So here, I, while writing the peak function, I'm not wasting my time to know how many number of elements are there to know the max index value. I'm just using the, uh, I'm taking the leverage of uh, negative indexing so that whatever the size of the list may be, always the minus one index value will retrieve the element which is at the last index value, whatever the size of the stack may be, right? So this is, uh, with this, uh, I'm going to define the negative indexing, I'm going to define my peak function. Yes, ne next one is the pop and push functions of a stack. Let's define them. Even though I have pop function, built-in pop function, I want to enhance that as per my requirement, so I'm redefining it. And, or you can say that I'm giving extensions to that. So def pop of self, I need not pass any parameter to that because uh, pop it says, says that just pick the element which is uh, pointed by the top, that's it. Then why to pass any value to that or uh, any index into that. For that, I always, uh, Take a precaution seeing that the stack is having few elements. If the stack is empty, there is no point in popping out the elements, right? First of all, I have to take care of that. If not, if not, uh, I have to check whether it is empty or not. If it is not, then I am going to decrement top right to pop and return so from the stack i'm going to pop the element else what if it is empty return a just a simple symbol i'm going to return saying that the stack is empty we cannot pop right so this is pop operation let me define push operation now so for that i need an uh, an argument which i'm going to push a data piece which i'm going to push in this case an operand will be that so if it is an operand i'm going to push it into the stack so to push i have to increment the top first of all that means i have to bring awake i have to show a vacant space for the new token so that in that it can locate itself right self append is the function for that right so i'm simply appending that is inserting in the last by default into the stack for push operation Okay, so these are the few functions which I need for the functionality of uh, this function, that is uh, evaluation of postfix expression. So let me write the ma major function, which is the backbone of this program, which is evaluation, right? So in the driver code also, I have used the same, which is uh, the function eval post fix right eval post fix is the function which i have used uh, for the same so let me write the same let 
Iran postfix is the name which I have given and for that I have passed the expression as a parameter. So I am going to check each and every character in my given string to check whether it is an operator or operand. If it is an operand, push it into the stack. If it is an operator, pop evaluate push. If have to know whether it is an operand or operator. Operand you will know if it is a digit. If it is a digit, then it is an operand. Very simple. So I am going to take the leverage of is digit function for the same. So I am going to check the ith token. Is it a digit or not? If it is a digit, I am going to push it into the stack. Right? I have pushed it into the stack. Else, the only case is a case where it is an operator. Then let's let's. Uh, Pop the elements, perform the operation. Self dot pop. Then second variable value will be self dot pop. I'm going to pop the elements. Then I'm going to push the result of uh, after evaluating. So eval is the function which I'm going to use. To perform the same. Have a look at this one guys. So eval is the function which I am going to use. You can clearly see that value 2 that is the second pop is going to act as first operand and the first pop is going to act as second operand. I have concatenated that with the operator which is i with operator and I am going to evaluate that and the resultant value whatever that you are going to get i'm going to convert it into in the string and push it into the stack okay very simple guys so so i'm treating every every character every result intermediate result everything to be a character in itself right i just want that to be in that way if i want to evaluate i'm going to convert it that's a different story that which i have already covered right so once uh, the string comes to an end the for loop breaks that is all the tokens are read it means i have come to an end of this one then the only element in the stack left over that is the element at index value 0 is my final result which i have to return so return so what i have to return guys the integer version of the top element the integer version of the top element right so here goes my driver code right the driver code let's go through the functions which i have uh, written for the evaluate i have taken a constructor with the capacity as a parameter to that for that, I have taken three member variables in that, a top, a capacity, and an array. Top is the one which is going to take care of the peak element on the stack, which is initialize it to minus one. And capacity is the total length of the expression. And array is the uh, is a list which acts as a stack for me. Then I have written a function to check whether it is an empty one or not. It will true, it will return true if the top is pointing to minus one, which says that the stack is empty, or else it is going to return false. Then peak function I have taken to retrieve the top element from the stack. Then a pop function to check uh, or to uh, remove an element from the stack. Then push function to append an element into the stack. Then the main point that is eval postfix function, which is going to evaluate, which is going to evaluate the given uh, postfix expression. The process starts with the with this, and uh, indirectly the remaining functions will be called. Right. So let me save this one. eval postfix let the name of it be eval postfix let, let me compile this one guys 
sorry i need to put okay so the result is minus one have a look at this one guys so let me run this one save and run so this is the result of the given expression two three one star plus nine minus and the result of this is minus four guys you can convert uh, the given result into an infix expression and do the reverse engineering to evaluate the same right so with this note i'll conclude my evaluation of postfix expression right so uh, i hope you have uh, gone through my infix to postfix conversion video and this video is uh, an, in connection to that so there we have converted infix to postfix and now we have evaluated a postfix expression it's quite simple right so i hope you understood and do follow my channel guys and you can go through the different topics various topics in data structures which covers linear and non-linear data structures which will be highly helpful for your academic purpose thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates